Hello, 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 and welcome to another ASMR Let's Play. Tonight we are finally back in Risk of Rain 2, and I have to mention, I am playing this because of someone uh, by the name of Rock Paperman, who has been asking me to play this game. And I totally respect you. And I have to formally apologize for waiting so long to get back into another video. Um, but I do have a couple reasons myself. Um, personal and not personal. Uh, first, before we get into that, let's lay the ground rules for tonight's game. I think we should do a, a, a chill run. I think we just we should just have a, a very chill um, game. Can go long, can go short. Um, I am thinking engineer because I like the turrets, but I've always gone multi. But I think I went multi last time, like uh, last video. So I think we're just going to have to go commando. No artifacts. I'm not going to choose my items. I'm just going to do this straight up nothing burger. <laughs> um, so uh, before we start, yeah, there's nothing I can equip or anything. But before we start, um, you may notice that I have uh, less artifacts than usual. And uh, I don't have the Void Fiend. Uh, unlocked, and that is because, first let's start the run, but that is because I, uh, I factory reset my PC, uh, very soon after my last video on Risk of Rain, uh, should we even do it, should we do, you know what, I'm going for it, um, totally forgot what I was saying, I may need to turn down my sensitivity. Jesus. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Um, keyboard mouse. Look sensitivity. Let's bring it down to like 20. No. 18. I think that's... No. No. It needs to go more. <laughs> I'm sorry. I usually cut this part out, but... I don't want to. Um... But as I was saying, because I factory reset my PC, um, trying to figure out what was going on with my microphone, my new microphone situation, uh, I lost a bunch of my progress. Um, so I lost my, um, I lost some of my, well, characters, but just the one. Um, and I lost a couple artifacts that I, uh, spent a bit of time trying to get um before my last video where i did like the um the run with all of the um uh what are the lizard people called i don't know when you can recruit those uh i don't have that anymore um that artifact at the very least so yeah i'm gonna have to do a little bit of grinding so just the thought of that was uh annoying um to say the least. Also, uh, since the um, Seekers of the Storm update came out, I heard some really, really bad things. Um, so you'll notice that I'm not uh, playing Seekers of the Storm as well. Um, and that's because I've heard, again, really bad things. I heard they broke the game. Uh, I, I don't know how. I've actually put research into it, and I, I don't know how they did it. Um, I think just some mechanics were just literally broken. Um, and even to this day, uh, people still review it terribly. Um, and this game is a bit in the dumps. And I didn't want to explain that over the comment section with Rock Paperman, but yeah. That's what I heard, and um, I will not be playing Seekers of the Storm until I see its uh, reviews in the blue. I may get it if it becomes mixed, because right now it's mostly... 
mostly negative, which is really, really not good. Um, I noticed that it has improved a little bit. It went from like 25% positive reviews to 35, something like that. Um, in terms of like uh, uh, all reviews compared to uh, just negative reviews, or sorry, recent reviews. All reviews compared to recent reviews. Sorry, I, my mind is everywhere right now. Um, but hey, that's two tri-tip daggers. That's pretty nice, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of why I have uh, been away from the Risk of Rain scene. Even though, you know, it is very central to my channel. It does mean a lot to my channel. Um, because I, Risk of Rain is probably the longest uh, series that I've ever had. It's just kind of ongoing, and it kind of never stops. It's the one roguelike, um, that I kind of never stop playing on this channel. Um, and I think I found a niche within the ASMR gaming sphere, if that makes sense. Is this, oh, it's just plants. I thought it was something. Anyway, I'm going to do one more uh, lap around, and then I'm going to go to the teleporter. Hopefully it's not uh, too bad with the mountain of the shrine. I'll try to do my best with my, it's called the primordial cube, right? That's what it's called. Yes, yeah, sir. I remember my stuff. Um, I also have a healing drone, which is great. Um, but yeah, it's always, you know, it's good to be back, in a way. Um, I do think they will, at one point, at some point, you know, fix the game. And whatever was wrong with it, I'm gonna have to, um, read the reviews a bit more. But, yeah, it's gonna be a minute before I delve into the Seekers of the Storm update. Um... And that's kind of sad, because oh, the, the chef character looked so cool. He looked so badass, unless that was a skin. I can't remember. I've already done that before. Uh, what is this? E eccentric face. Ew, I don't think I want that. Oh, also, one more thing about why I don't, why I haven't played uh, Risk of Rain is because every video at this point, and I expect there to be, I, I expect there to be comments, um, especially now that I've, that I'm saying it, um, there's at least one or two people, um, in the comments, every video that I make on Risk of Rain now, uh, that, uh, sometimes they're nice about it, but sometimes they're not nice about uh, correcting what I did wrong in my playthrough. It happens way too much. Um, and it's like, yeah, you're a YouTuber. Well, I, I don't think I could say that, but you make YouTube videos, you make content on the internet, get used to it. That's, that's kind of just, you're going to get hate. It, it's just going to happen. Um, as long as you're getting any kind of view, uh, any kind of number of views, you're still gonna uh, be faced with some kind of opposition. And I recognize that, I totally understand that. But it's so annoying, um, a little bit. I, I, again, I really do appreciate when people are very nice about it. Um, but, you know, uh, I don't claim to be uh, someone who is extremely knowledgeable about Risk of Rain at all. Um, even though I talk a lot about it, because I have to talk about the game, uh, I don't claim to be someone who really, really, really knows what they're doing. Um, nor do I really want to be coached, either. Um, that's not really uh, something that I desire either, because I only play this game um, on the channel. Um, 
It's been a while since I played this game with friends, and I appreciate this game for being something I can always come back to um, for a quick video. It's a nice little homely kind of thing. Oh my god, you guys need to leave me alone. Oh, the beetle guards are not affected by the cube. I don't think. Um, but I think we got the beetle queen. Yeah, we did the boss. Thank god. There's just a lot going on. Hey, we got some leeching seeds as well. Well, that was a good round, I would say. Fantastic. Um, so yeah. I can't believe I almost forgot to mention that part. <laughs> that was like the, the main driving um, reason why I didn't want to play uh, Risk of Rain. But, yeah. Uh, so, shout out to Rock Paperman for getting me back on track. Um, and I don't say that, I'm not trying to say that in a uh, uh, sarcastic or demeaning way. Um, or any kind of rudeness at that. Um, I, I love that, you know, there is someone who really, really, really wants me to play a certain game and will go to the lengths uh, of commenting on multiple videos um, to see that uh, come to fruition. So, no, I really appreciate that. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, have to get that out of the way. Um, so yeah, I think I've covered all bases. Now, I just need money. Just give me some money. Um, what is that? That's like the, the watch thing. I forgot what that does. Um, let's grab it. See what it does. Deal bonus damage breaks at low health. Oh, delicate watch. Okay, so I just do bonus damage. I wonder what the low health threshold is, though. I guess we'll have to see. Oh, a green death mark. Mm, interesting. I may not uh, be able to get that. Uh, or activate it, you know, because I don't, I'm not playing a character with, like, an extra, um, like, debuff or status effect, like, Acrid or, uh, the Mercenary, I think he has one, um, so yeah, let me go around and see if I can make more money if I just run around, because there is that big chest that I was... Uh, standing around. Actually, I think I can go get it now if we take you out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, otherwise, um, lately, um, as people may know, sad that we only got a green, but as people may know, um, my passion in uh, life um, as a career is to be a filmmaker. Uh, that is what I am in college for. I've probably said that uh, dozens of times at this point, but uh, I am in college for film, and we have been working on a short film. It's been in pre-production for a while, and um, yeah, finally, because I am the assistant director on said short film, and I really, really, really do believe in it. Um, and we are getting very close to production. I'm recording this on the night of the 24th, and we are going to be shooting uh, this film, or at least the first day out of like five uh, days. We're going to be shooting the first day on the 27th. No, the 26th sorry, which is a Saturday, and, uh, these scenes that we're gonna be shooting, um, are like, uh, they're interrogation scenes, and they're not very long at all, um, they should just take one hour at the very most, hopefully, uh, per, like, scene, so hopefully everything goes well for 
that. Uh, because I am assistant director, I am the one um, who needs to make all of the call sheets, which are just uh, PDFs or uh, pieces of um, paper or a document um, that basically needs to be sent out to everybody um, that is uh, working that day, either on the crew or in the cast. Um, so that was my job. I sent out the first um, call sheet today. Um, and it's so nerve-wracking. It's actually my first ever call sheet, uh, which is embarrassing, um, to say the least. Um, I had to pay, like, 30 bucks to be part of this, um, online program, uh, that allows, uh, making call sheets to be way easier. Um, and to be honest, I just like the format. Uh, it's also very easy to fill out, um, structures it very nicely. So, drop 30 bones, uh, for a monthly subscription, which I'm just gonna need for the month. Um, where is the teleporter? Um, leave me alone. Go away. Oh my god, you do so much damage. I'm gonna have to be very careful. Thank god I have a healing drone. Hopefully, uh, this drone survives to the very end. I would like that very much. Whoops. Uh, I have way too much money. Um, I got to go. I gotta get out of here. I gotta find more chests. I gotta blow all this cash. Um, but otherwise, for the film that we were making, I've talked about it a little bit before and what it's like about, um, I'll talk a bit more about, you know, the synopsis and, um, Maybe I'll reserve it for a story time, uh, like a strictly story time kind of video where I just talk about life and stuff. Um, I've been doing that a lot more, but I haven't had a video totally dedicated to um, talking about uh, life. Um, what is this? Another squid turret thing. That's crazy. Um, another squid turret thing. I have three of them now. Don't tell me. Okay, <laughs> alright, we're good, we're fine. Um, I actually got news today from our director, who is also one of my, uh, closest peers in, uh, the group that we have formed. It's like a partnership company thing. We go by the name of Meatloaf Media. That is who we are. You can even find us on YouTube and some of our short films. Um, I uh, have to mention as well this glitching texture. Um, I wonder if that was a thing um, before uh, the update. But um, one of my peers in Meatloaf Media uh, just called me a couple hours ago and informed me that one of our investor friends who are like these, uh, big hotshots over in, uh, Tampa, uh, so on the other coast, uh, from where we are at, they, uh, we shot a, oh, here we go, ouchie. Uh, we shot a promo video for our film because we're going to start fundraising for it. So we sent them to these investors. Um, and they are super excited um, to, like, work with it. Um, they really like the promo. Um, and they even told us, uh, because this is a short film that is kind of, it's kind of like a pilot for a TV show. It's not a TV show, um, but it's like 24 minutes and, you know, uh, we have 
a document where uh, if this were to continue, all of like the different ideas uh, that we can play with as like an episode. So um, they really liked that idea and they said they could connect us with, in their words, a big time showrunner. Uh, so we may be doing that. Otherwise, um, uh, we will probably be getting funding from our boys over in Tampa, uh, which is very exciting, very exciting stuff. Um, for a while, we thought they were kind of flaking on us, but, uh, in reality, what was going on was, uh, uh, the hurricane that just, uh, swung on by totally wrecked. Um, Tampa, and kind of messed with their, uh, uh, office, so they had to rebuild for the past couple weeks, um, and now they are in full swing again, and they are ready to lend us a helping hand in the form of, uh, maybe a couple thousand dollars, I don't know, I don't know, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, our asking price is, uh, a thousand to make this short film. Uh, it is, I guess I can talk a little bit more about the film itself that we are working on. Um, so it's, uh, basically about a party, a college party that gets, uh, ruined, uh, and as a little spoiler, uh, it actually gets ruined by someone, uh, but we don't know who it was. So, uh, the owner of the 21st birthday party, uh, her name is Chelsea, uh, that's her character's name, uh, she calls the P.I., who is, uh, a, not a private investigator, no, this is a party investigator, and he specializes in, uh, investigating parties and party disasters and, uh, things that can go wrong at a, uh, shindig, right? Oh my god, we got a red. What is this? Prevent debuffs instead, gaining a temporary barrier, recharges over time. Okay, cool. I'm down with that. I like, I like, I like. Um, so... They enlist the help of this party investigator. He realizes that someone did uh, sabotage the party. So it becomes like this murder mystery comedy. Um, uh, it's also like a 1950s, 1940s, like noir uh, detective film. So a lot of different things going into this. Uh, there, there are points where we will be cutting back to when the party was alive, and that will be in color and um, very lively, and the cinematography will reflect like modern, um, uh, 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 like camera techniques, if that makes sense. Um, but when it's in the present day, um, after the party died and when the uh, party investigator is doing his investigation, it's going to be shot like it's from the 1950s. I don't know if it's going to sound like it, because uh, we have uh, the means to, you know, make it sound like uh, audio equipment from the 1950s. That's a, that is, like, easy to do, so I don't know if we're going to be doing that, but... It's definitely going to look and feel like uh, a 1950s, very old black and white uh, detective mystery film. Um, so that's a little bit um, about the film. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we just recently shot a promo with uh, the guy who is playing... Um, the party investigator, and he did so, so, so well. My god, he's, he's, uh, very talented. Um, he's also from Tampa. And I mention that because we are over in Orlando, so he comes over here and shoots a couple things for each, like, weekend that we're doing this production. And, um, 
Yeah, uh, I'm the guy who's like mostly in contact with our actors, so uh, I still have some things to do, <laughs> um, which is kind of bad that I'm making a ASMR video right now, but it's only an hour, you know? This is my downtime, technically. Um, but uh, other things that I have to do other than the call sheet, I have to um, reach out to all of our actors because we have a, a, a sort of big lineup of people. Um, it's not just the uh, investigator and the birthday girl who's turning 21. Uh, we have more stuff uh, like there is the best friend of the... Uh, 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 the party girl, the birthday girl, rather, and then there is the boyfriend of the best friend, um, and I really would like to talk a lot about the stuff we have planned, but I can't, it, 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 it'll, it'll be too much, uh, especially if anybody wants to see the film, um, uh, in, you know, uh, as a viewer, if you'd like to see the film, I'll, I'll keep it a little simple, uh, but there's other people, there's also, like, a drunk guy who's, like, passed out, um, for most of the party, and he also gets, like, an interrogation, I'm gonna see if I can get through here, just so I can look at this side, um, uh, so yeah, there's the best friend of uh, the birthday girl, there's the boyfriend of the best friend, there's the ex-boyfriend of the girl that's turning 21, um, so the birthday girl's ex, who is, like, a jock, um, and I think that is it, unless I am forgetting about, oh, and then there's the roommate, the roommate of, uh, the, 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 birthday girl, so she is the bartender as well, um, so yeah, we have a lot of people, um, and this weekend we're doing, like, one-on-one -on -one scenes, uh, so it's not gonna be hard to film, uh, in terms of, like, uh, placing the actors in the right spots, but, uh, next weekend, which is, like, November 1st, um, November... Uh, November 1st through November 3rd, that is when we are going to be shooting, um, the Act 1 and Act 3 scenes, which include all of, like, the group stuff, so that's where we're going to have to have a lot of people, um, like, pretty much everyone present. I don't want to die here. I am really trying not to. Alright, we're fine. We've got enough heals, pretty much. Okay. Um, but otherwise, yeah, fun stuff going on. Um, very anxious to get this out of the door, because now, uh, we have investors who are very excited to see our stuff, and, yeah, other than that, um, I've been talking about a feature film that I am the lead actor of, um, called Mystery Creek. I've been talking about that a lot recently. And, um, uh, again, I'm the lead actor, so I am, uh, in it quite a bit, um, as you may assume. Uh, it actually just got a trailer, um, on YouTube. The, the guy who directed, edited, uh, wrote, and shot the movie, um, he just edited together a, uh, a trailer, which I, if I remember, uh, I can totally link it in the, uh, description, so I'll try to remember to do that. Uh, I may, like, put a note somewhere on my computer saying that I need to do that, but if you're curious, um, I will be putting the, uh, Mystery Creek trailer, um, in the description, and before you watch it, if you will, um, I have to emphasize that, uh, the, the genre that we are going for, at least when it was written, uh, is, see, he likes to do, 
like satires so technically it's a comedy um but it's like very subtle um i don't know how subtle uh, it is or how blunt it comes off in the um in the trailer at the very least but yeah uh it's supposed to be like a satire on teen dramas so it's kind of like it's like a parody of riverdale however it's it's not blatantly obvious if that makes sense it's just overly dramatic um and there are some some jokes written in uh that uh, can very easily go over your head. Again, I don't know if they are in the trailer, um, but yeah, it's 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 a good one, and we're having the premiere for that on November fifth, which is when I will be getting the unlisted link for it. The reason it's going to be an unlisted link um, is because uh, when you send uh, films to film festivals, uh, every season, a lot of them require you to, um, basically keep them private until the, like, film festival season is over. I don't know exactly why they do that, but, yeah, so, whenever it comes out, um, it's gonna be in the form of an unlisted link that I'm just gonna be sending to, like, my parents and, uh, a lot of people. Uh, for them to watch, and again, it's a feature-length film, so it's a uh, it's a movie, and it it's got the length of a movie, um, and I'm super proud of it. Uh, haven't seen it put together yet, so I can't really say I'm uh, 100% proud of my performance, but I'm proud of a lot of my performance. I think. I think. We're just gonna have to see it uh, put together, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I also mentioned that it's going to be an unlisted link, uh, just in case anyone wants to see that themselves. Honestly, I think I'll make a, uh, a video um, when the movie comes out, and I'll just be talking about uh, that. Um, and then I'll just, I'll put the link in the description for uh, people to watch the movie. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's what I'll do. Oh, there's a stone golem there. Um, but yeah, uh, the trailer's out, so you can totally see that. Um, and yeah, you might be able to tell immediately who uh, my character is, because he kind of He's kind of in it the most, so I always, I always say like, hey, go check this out, <laughs> um, but I've never had anyone um, be like, hey, I checked it out, uh, super cool, <laughs> uh, or, or uh, it's, it's dog shit, <laughs> I've never had anyone say anything about it from uh, the ASMR channel, so uh, if you guys are curious, I would totally love to see your reaction uh anyone's really um i've been ranting a lot about movies uh specifically my movies and the movies that i am in uh and i like doing that um so i may do it for a little longer if that is okay um we got another one of these uh, what is this? Oh, I forgot what this does. I always, you know what, I'm going for this. Uh, okay, that's actually really nice. It's like extra attack speed to the, uh, uh, what is this, the Opus? Yeah, Gorag's Opus. Uh, basically the Frenzy equipment is what I call it. Uh, I think we're ready to go, though. Um. So, while we're still in impossible difficulty, I'm going to go to the, uh, teleporter. And, yeah. I should say, uh, I'm very excited for, uh, our short film, P.I., 
to be coming out. Uh, it's, I mean, making films is always going to be stressful, but this one, oh god, I'm so anxious, like, all the time, because uh, I, I really want to make sure we're doing right by all of our actors, and I want to make sure that we're not doing anything wrong. Um, yeah, very, very nerve-wracking, to say the least. Is there three of these guys, or just two? I'm going to assume it's just two. Uh, oh, let me hit my equipment. That'll probably help. Oh god. I just got hit bad. Uh, I'm gonna need some health healing drones. Thank you much. Wow, that was bad. I haven't had to lock in this entire game until, like, right now. Crazy. I haven't really needed to uh, use my uh, my R ability either, like my special. But now I am. Well, still kind of like uh, jump change. Honestly, we're doing pretty good. All right, let's pop our equipment. And wow, 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 wow! That was a lot of jellyfish. Uh oh, not again. No thanks. Amazing. Um, beautiful. Let's grab that bandolier. Chance on kill to drop an ammo pack that resets all skill cooldowns. I see. I see, I see, I see. Well. Let's get to the next area. Okay. Sky Meadow. Sprite Fields. Let's try to wrap this up pretty quickly, to be honest, because I don't know how much time I actually have. Um, I don't want that. I don't want to grab that. I'd rather keep my Opal. Opal or Opus. Opus. Opal is a, um, is a rock. It's a type of mineral. Don't exactly know what an opus is, though. I know what a magnum opus is, but not just a, a regular opus. Um, let's pop my uh, opus now against this guy. trying to stack all of the, uh, the bleeding that I can. I'm glad that he's just standing still and just taking everything that I'm throwing. It'd be not great if he just wasn't doing that. <laughs> but yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit broken, isn't he? Again, I don't know how much is, uh, like the fault of Gearbox. Um, with the new update, and what was a thing before, but I mean, and there you have it, um, wonderful, let's grab that steak, um, I think I just got a text, nope, never mind, well I did get a text, I thought it was from somebody else, would have been a helpful text if it was, but it was not. It's not that helpful. It's actually from one of our actors confirming that um, they got the call sheet, which is great, and it is important. But yeah, uh, this one is also broken. Interestingly enough, uh, why are you guys fighting this? That's confusing. Let's take you out, maybe. I'm very confused why everything's fighting this. That's very strange. Well, once we take this out, then we'll probably have enough money to start going around everywhere. Okay. Time to go. Now we really need to uh, start doing more damage, honestly. Um... It's not like I can do anything about that. Uh, is that one of the crab people? 
It is. I honestly cannot fight you right now. Because I just, I just don't got the damage for it. Occasionally, when I record videos, um, after I'm done, uh, because I have to turn my fan off, um, to, you know, minimize the noise in my room. So, because I'm, like, sweating and a lot at the end of every recording, the first thing I do is I get up and I go, uh, turn on the fan. And then when I sit back down, after, like, a couple minutes, I'll think, like, oh no, did I leave that on the entire recording? It happens, like, almost every time. I'm telling you. It's quite funny. Um, it's not really anyone I could... <laughs> tell that story. Um, speaking of, uh, I'd say like half a year ago, like nobody knew, well, hardly anyone knew about my channel. It pro probably wasn't half a year ago. It's more like a year ago. Like only one person knew about my channel. They didn't watch my stuff, but they, they knew about it. Um, and now, like, oh my god, I don't think I can count on both of my hands how many people know uh, how to find this channel, even. Um, at the same time, I don't know how many people uh, of, like, my friend group, the people that I know personally, um, that know about my channel. I don't know how many of them, like, watch my stuff. Uh, I know some of them do. Uh, definitely. I do have a friend who, uh, watches stuff specifically so that they can comment funny things. Um, and then I have someone else who just knows what game I'm playing. Uh, just by, uh, seeing the types of games that I post. Also, my roommate is in the hallway right now, so I gotta be very, very, very quiet. Hopefully he doesn't hear me. I wonder if my roommates know that I make ASMR. That's a, that's a, that's a question indeed. Um, yeah, because occasionally I will have to clear my throat and I make it really, 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 really loud. Uh, and sometimes I'll have nights where I have to do it many, many times. So, at the very least, they hear that, and they're probably like, what is this, what is this dude's problem? But then, like, there is a bathroom door, like, right outside my door, so when people are going in the bathroom, I mean, like, can they technically hear me? I, I, I really don't know. Um, it'd be really funny if someone was just, like, ear pressed to the door, listening in on me right now. That's kind of my biggest fear. Um, with that, oh, I think, I think someone's in the kitchen, I think I hear clattering, um, which is something that, uh, I really like this, um, this new microphone set up for, because, um, now I can hear so much more, uh, of, like, the stuff behind me, because the microphone's very directional, um, and I can hear stuff that's going on in the, uh, like, the kitchen all the way downstairs, and I'm at the end of a hallway upstairs, so I'm, like, the furthest away from the kitchen as, like, possible, uh, structurally possible in this apartment, and now, uh, even, like, even if I take my headphone out, um, that's like listening to my microphone, I can't hear it. But if I put the headphone in, uh, or the earbud, if I put it in to listen, uh, I can hear way more going on downstairs. So that's crazy. Um, and a uh, new improvement that I did not foresee when getting a new... Uh, Microphone. What is this? Incinerator drone. I will take it. 
I should probably get out of here, honestly. Um, got an energy drink. It's fantastic. But yeah, I think... I think we got everything that we could. Um, without the help of a satellite. So, let's gamble all of our savings away. There we go. Got an armor plate, and that is it. That is it for us. Fantastic. I probably missed a lot, honestly, but that's neither here nor there. Um, okay, let's get this going. Uh, I have confidence that I'll be able to beat uh, the G construct. Um, no doubt, but when it comes to, hang on, what's his name? Hang on, Mithrix. <laughs> Mithrix, how could I forget? Uh, when it comes to beating Mithrix, that might be, uh, a bit of a problem. I don't know. Uh, he may just take some of the right, you know, some of the exact, um, items that I don't want him to take and use them against me. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, this is... It's just gonna be slow, no matter what. Um, because I don't have a whole lot of damage output, but I've got some good, uh, defensive potential. Uh, is this thing invulnerable? What is going on? Got it. There we go. Weird how I'm hardly taking any damage. I don't know if, like, the, the hitbox on me compared to that laser is just... Yeah, it has to hit me, like, dead on. Oh, God. It's just way too long. <laughs> I wish I had another, um... Uh, another tri-tip dagger, honestly. I want to do way more damage. And then when I go into this Mithrix fight, I'm definitely gonna lose my healing drone. So that's going to be annoying. Stop healing that. Ouchie. But at least I have leeching seeds. I don't know how well it's going to work. Yeah, this has got to be the slowest run I've ever had. Are you done? Come on. There we go. equipment. See if we can get some good bleed going. Uh, kinda. There we go. Finally. And we got a slow, um, item. So, not... I don't think we can use death mark, honestly. Because we've got fire. We've got slow... That's it, I think. Well, that's sad. Um, but anyway, we've been going uh, for 47 minutes. Uh, recording has been going for 51 minutes. And it's going to take forever to kill Mithrix, even if we, like, do kill him. I don't foresee it happening, though, going to be honest. I, I would say I've, I feel like I've played enough runs to tell, but at the same time, uh, I also have no idea. It's a very long walk. I have just one energy drink. That's it. That's all I got to my name in terms of, uh, movement. Well, I guess I did, uh, lose a couple of tri-tip daggers, because I was trying to go for more attack speed. Well, whatever. You win some. You lose some. Okay, how many beacons do we have over there? Two. We've got two over there. That is actually wonderful. Can you leave me alone, please? That's not the worst thing ever. So, we're about to see. We're about 
gonna see how this goes. I like that I have three teddy bears. That's probably gonna come in very clutch. Um, but if anybody is knowledgeable at all um, on the risk of rain situation and why uh, it's got such negative reviews, um, please, please, please let me know. I would like to hear from uh, the community uh, why it's getting such a bad rep. Because I have put in research, I just don't think I'm getting uh, the right answers. Um, and whenever I look up YouTube videos, it's like half an hour long, and there's they they talk about like the entire history of Risk of Rain. And I'm not I'm not trying to hear that. I'm trying to hear about what they what they messed up. Uh, what is that sound? I'm sure you could hear that too. It's like a high-pitched ringing. Uh, but we carry on. Let's just hope that this thing does not see me. I mean, it does. It definitely does. Um, but we're good. We're actually totally fine. Alright, that's one pillar down. I love these specific pillars so much. Um, we're just going to go for another one, though. Um, we're going to use this as cover, maybe. Just kidding. Okay. Um, we would have died there. Uh, but we had a, uh, a bottle for protection. Um, yep. I don't know what, at, at what threshold does that get popped. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It got popped. <laughs> Oops. Uh, you don't think I could? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Amazing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Huh. Fantastic. I love the moon gravity. Very helpful. Alright, here we go. Let's just stay in midair so we don't get pushed. Okay. 25%. 33% and 50% whoa launched me away 75% 85% 95 and wonderful now we just need one more we're gonna go all the way out here should we take a look over here? No. Maybe. No, I don't think so. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Huh. Please let me catch it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was very close.
just half my health gone. Oh, he almost got me. But yeah, not much to talk about now. It's just, let's play it nice and careful, because it's going very slow, and he can, he can get my ass uh, very quickly. Okay, we're going pretty quick now. Not bad, we're almost at 10,000 health left. Nice try, buddy. Buddy pal. Okay, 7,000. Okay, 6,000. All right, we just passed 5,000. And... We're now at 3,000. Two thousand, come on. Ouchie. He still got one last hit in. What an asshole. Alright. Let's see if we can manage this. The Lunar Chimera. I've always hated this section. It's just it, it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit lazy. But it's whatever. Um, but now that I think about it, I actually did hear some news about Hope Pool, uh, who is the, um, like, the creator of Risk of Rain. I think the entire, like, genre, or genre, the entire, uh, like, IP. Um, uh, Hope Who actually started working with the, uh, the team that's working on on deadlock with valve um so all in all i think it was a I, I think it's a good thing um even though risk of rain has been getting some bad press lately i think it's still good that deadlock because i love deadlock um uh, i i 
think it's a good thing for deadlock overall. Man, this is going so slow. I'd rather just <laughs> die right now, honestly. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try to carry it out. I'm actually gonna stand really close because I do have a um, what's this called? A focus crystal. I do have one of those. Why is this freaking dude all the way out here? I saw him like dancing as well. What are you doing, buddy? There we go. Take that. And some of this. Yep. Just stay still for me. Thank you. Thanks. It is the game. Like, it... I, I don't think that was a thing before, right? Is that how it broke? I'm so confused. Um, oh, great. Okay. Uh, there's one stuck inside this pillar. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah, I can only shoot this guy with my right mouse button. And it takes forever to come back. Um. No, it's wonderful. Um. Okay. Alright. No, it, it's fine. We'll, uh. No, I hate this. <laughs> What's going on, man? This has never happened before. Um. And, like, is there any way to get this guy out? Oh, I have to hit him at that one part of the wall. Oh, that's so annoying. It's it's 200. I have to click on him. Uh, let's see. 4,000 divided by 200. I have to shoot him 20 more times. Uh, so that was 3. So that was... Uh, Oh, we're at 17, 16, 15, 14. All right, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, uh, this, yeah, we need one more, that's one, and finally, we got it, folks, I hope you're happy, rock, paper, men, I'm sorry, I don't mean that, um, but yeah, that's, if that is an example of um, how they broke the game, uh, then that really sucks. <laughs> that was, I mean, that was almost a soft lock. Almost. Um, but yeah, uh, we carry on. Hopefully Mithrix can, uh, do me real dirty. Uh, I would love to be done dirty right now. After that. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm going to try to see this through. Okay, we've got him like a third of his health down again. And I expect him to be doing his uh, drone killing attack very soon. You almost got me there, buddy. Nice try. Uh-oh. Okay. Teddy bear came in clutch. I can't see. Good. 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 Okay. We still have a drone. Oh. You see that dodge? That was a perfect dodge. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I wish I... I wish I just had something. <laughs> something to help. I have to itch my head. Fantastic. We're good. No more itches needed. Uh-oh. I got stuck in the tower. Okay. We're almost half health. And we have proven to ourselves that we can uh, beat him. Because we got him to half 
of hell that we uh oh we're good we're good uh oh that's close we're good yeah that was really close keep the bleed going 18 no it reset oopsies well uh that was a 65 minute run not bad um but yeah, I am not going to be playing this game until I see an improvement on the store. Um, I think uh, you can, I think I've shown why, uh, why I think that is uh, adequately enough. Um, again, huge shout out to Rock Paperman for uh, asking uh, for this video over the course of many days. Um, I really do appreciate that. Um, I appreciate that someone, uh, uh, yearns, uh, uh, can yearn so much for, um, a specific, a uh, specific video of mine. Um, so yeah, I think that is it for me. Um, Again, I will be linking the uh, trailer for Mystery Creek, the film that I am acting in. Uh, I would love to see your guys' opinions on it um, and thoughts. Uh, I just want to know, like, would you watch it, uh, you know? And uh, if you would, if you want to, I mean, you totally could if you, if you, really, if you really wanted to see it. Um, I could... I can work that out. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I did a Risk of Rain video, so we're finally, you know, we made it. We made it back <laughs> to the, uh, the the Risk of Rain content, but we will not be making any more uh, until uh, further notice. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you found it relaxing. Uh, hopefully I've helped you uh, be able to sleep, especially Sir Rock Paperman. Uh, I hope he enjoys this a lot, immensely. I, I, I really do. And uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, I'm going to hit continue. Go back to the start screen. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good